Football shirts. Most images of suffering in faraway places I can shut out, not let them impinge on my comfortable blush life. They are remote, and with one click of the remote control, they are dismissed from my consciousness and my conscience. But this is different. It seems less remote, and the remote offers me no control. This hurts me, and then it hits me. Football shirts. These murder victims are wearing football shirts. It's the time of the World Cup. Football shirts symbolise peacetime rivalry, kicking a bag of air around a field. These men were kicked to the ground, laid out in shallow sandy graves, while fans play on Copacabana Beach in Brazil. These men waited for the referee's whistle. This has to be against all the rules. No whistle, no referee, no rules. You sit up to witness the death of your friends. Offside, you shout out in desperation, hoping someone will hear. But no one does. You don't see or hear the bullet that kills you. It happens too quickly, like a Ronaldo free kick. It's all very messy. These men are wearing football shirts. Not uniforms, but man you. It's the World Cup, for God's sake. But God seems to have been left out of the team. It's the time of bullet headers, shooting at goal, incisive passes, fatal goalkeeping errors, burying a header in the back of the net, and the execution of perfect tactics. This year, we remembered the 70th anniversary of the slaughter on the Normandy beaches and the centenary of the start of the massacre masquerading as World War I. But the genocide continues. History will teach us nothing. Sting sang that. I'll let you be in my dreams if I can be in yours. Bob Dylan sang that. I'm wearing a football shirt. Please don't shoot me. I said that.